Hello all and welcome to Chicken185 Geo. Today I bring to you more Minecraft on MCPPP, MCPPP.com and this is Minecraft Hunger Games, of course. And today I am playing as Monster and Monster is a very good kit indeed. What Monster can do um, is no monsters attack you unless you attack them. So I, my suggestion to you is if you <clears throat> use the Monster kit do not attack monsters and you are free to go from any mobs of all kind so right here I get my first kill up on the hill and I find this guy in the cave sorting through his inventory and I do get the kill fairly easy and another guy runs right across and um, kinda jumps down and I do get the kill just like that so three kills right off the bat and um, I'm doing pretty well but I am low on health so I'm gonna have to go find some food. So I do find some food and um, I come into this ravine and uh, make a stone pick and get the iron in the ravine. And there was a good amount of iron in the ravine. Um, it was enough for, I believe, a chest plate, leggings, and boots. So uh, we are at 49 subscribers and my plan is to get to 50 and by maybe tomorrow or the next day after that because that's that'll be a pretty good benchmark to hit 50 subscribers and I'll be really happy when we hit that and I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and I really appreciate all that you've done so yeah so right here I'm out of the crevice and I got almost full iron and I find this guy mining some coal so I do pluck down kill him and he was he snuck up upon but I do get the kill fairly easy and uh, this guy he's a Thor um, he comes into a cave and it is a two-man team but they're just up on this hill so uh, the his teammate on the left actually falls down so I it was an easy kill for him so I killed him fairly easy and then the second guy comes down and um, I kind of struggle with my aiming skills or I was lagging or something but um, I get the kill fairly easy with that guy and this guy comes down um, and um, I kill him with half a heart so that was a very um, close call right there <clears throat> so the feast um, is about to start and um, five minutes to the feast and there were a lot of people at the feast there's been a lot um, every time I've been playing now when I get to the feast there's a lot of people there so um, this guy I kill him fairly easy that was a this is this, this was probably the most turning point of the game he had tons of stew, and that was just really helpful for me against anybody or anything. So that was a big turning point. So I killed that guy at the feast, and this guy plucks down on the feast. He jumps down, and I do get the kill. Um, I kind of struggle with my aiming once again, but um, once again, it might have been lag. I'm not quite sure, but he, <laughs> I do get the kill fairly easy, not too hard, because he had no armor. So earlier, you might have saw those two name tags down in the crevice. I do not go down to them or else that'd be too risky because I'm already at three minutes remaining. I didn't even know if um, they had armor or not, but they, it was actually, I think it's a solo person. So I think he had almost full iron, so I did not go down to get him. I waited for him to come back up. So as you see, this guy with a helmet, <clears throat> it looks like he's flying right there, doesn't it? But um I do uh, try to get him with lava, but he does just come down, and uh, I kind of struggle. He seemed like he was speed hacking. I'm not quite sure because um, he kind of teleported place to place. I'm not sure. But I don't want to accuse him for hacking. I might have just been lagging or something. So um, I oh wait no, not this guy. The guy up there. Sorry about that. The guy up there, I think was the speed hacker. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it was this guy. Um, I might have been just lagging, but I'm not quite sure, so I don't know. Leave it in the comments below if you think he was hacking or not. I'm not quite sure. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed so far. I have always enjoyed making videos for you guys. It's my pleasure for you guys, and uh, I really enjoy it. And I am starting a new survival let's play. Um, I don't know if you've seen that yet, but it's a new series. Ho hopefully you get a good um, start on that. So right here, this guy survived a while. I don't know if he had stew or not because I didn't see it, but I think he did. So um, I kill him though, 
fairly easy, but uh, as you see, there's already been three to four people at the feast, and it was, but at least they weren't, like, right at the same time, or else I would have probably died, but they would have probably killed each other, so I'm not quite sure how that works, but I killed this guy right here. He was a viper. Ten players remaining. Burn his stuff with the lava, and another guy comes down to the feast. Full iron, and uh, I, th I do get the kill. He falls really far, I think. I I don't remember. So 30 seconds to the feast, and um, he jumps down onto the feast table, and I um, kill him. I stew and do all that jazz. So um, yeah, he does end up dying. So the feast is almost starting, and uh, there's still 10 players remaining, which is a good amount. So it, it's gonna be a struggle to kill them all, but I do get to do pretty well in this game. So right here, I hit this guy a few times and he falls onto the feast table dead. So I go ahead and get back here and get what's in the feast. And I do end up getting full diamond from this feast. It was pretty good. And um, yeah, it was a pretty good feast. So right here, um, someone hits me with an arrow and he's right there up on the hill to the left. And uh, in the, one of the chests, I'm still looking in the chest, and in one of them I get an ender pearl. So I go ahead and take that ender pearl and pour it up to him and do kill him fairly easy because all he was using was his bow. So right here I poured him up to him. All he had was leggings, boom, kill him fairly easy. Just like that, he falls onto the feast table and burns to death. So, eight players remaining, and I am almost done raiding the feast. And you see that guy, you might, he's on the tower, and, um, I do hit him with an arrow, but it does not hit him off, sadly. But, and then, yeah, so I just leave him alone and wait to get him a later time. So, I come back for him later, but he is gone, so I have to track him down. And right here, um, I'm, uh, right here I skip ahead to he where I find two players. This guy, um, I hit him with the arrow, just like that. And then um, I chase him down, and then he leads me to the guy that was in the tower earlier at the feast, but is now in a different tower, so I hit him off with an arrow, and uh, do get kill both of them fairly easy. So, just like that, um, fairly easy. So right on that cobblestone tower, you see the guy, and that was the same guy, so I hit him with an arrow. He falls to his, um, falls, and then I kill this guy right here, and then I kill the other guy with one to two hits so right there six players remaining and um, right here I want to show you guys um, this was a funny clip I just walk over here and there's a three-man team with full iron so I just shoot them with a bow and they just run away and I, I couldn't find them again I was gonna splash my strength and try to find them but somehow they got away I didn't know what path they took or something because the next time I see them they're in this huge tower made of cobblestone so they must have been moving real fast or something so I come back to the feast to find these two people noobs without any armor lasted this long I don't know how but I just jump down right there kill him in two hits and then I stew and see this guy he's down here his teammate and I kill him in three hits just like that four players remaining and uh, that is the three-man team so um, I do die from him right here I tower up and I do eventually die they put lava on me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. It's always appreciated. And right here I get knocked off. So we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.